Hello lovely people, welcome back to Free Warden Hatchery. We are going to be hatching some duck eggs. We're going to be starting some duck eggs. We have several eggs collected from our ducks and stored and ready to wash and sanitize. The very first thing I'm going to do with these guys that are different than the last eggs that I prepared for hatching is I'm going to actually take a microfiber cloth and clean them off a little bit before I get to uh, dunking them in the water because there's a lot of dried feces and gunk and hay and grass all over them. So we're going to get these guys cleaned up a little bit before we dump them in the water and they're going to get this water all dirty otherwise. I've got five eggs that I want to show you here. So we got two quail eggs here and these quail eggs, this is a, about a normal size quail egg. This is a very large quail egg. This quail egg is most likely a double yoker. So you can see those there, right? Now here's a quail egg next to a chicken egg. About five times the size of a quail egg. Here's a duck egg next to a chicken egg next to a quail egg. We have a goose egg. A goose egg compared to an average sized chicken egg. This is about a large chicken egg. That thing is three times the size of this chicken egg. About double the size of this duck egg. And we'll just say probably about 20 times the size of this quail egg. So it's massive. We just got our first goose egg today though, so I'm really excited about that. Whole bunch of drama earlier outside that I don't want to go into right now for this video, but suffice it to say that Clyde may have lost his masculinity today, which doesn't bode well for us getting fertilized goose eggs. I'm very happy to see that we got our first goose egg today because Clyde may not be able to fertilize future eggs, so we need to get all the geese eggs that we can, see if we can get them hatched so that we can perpetuate geese on our property without having to buy more because they're about 20 to $30 a goose. Well, the big expense is when you have to buy 10 or 10 or 15. I think it's, it might be minimum eight. Anyway, whatever the number is, it's more than what I want to buy for our property. And especially at 15 to $30 a pop, these guys are expensive. This is the precious goose egg. We don't know if it's fertile, but we're not going to break any open because she's got maybe five more days of eggs that she'll lay and we'll see if uh, we get them all fertile. So we're actually going to put this in a safe, cool, dark place. It doesn't start to grow inside at all prematurely and then end up dying before we can get it into the heat. You might want to rephrase that into saying that we don't have just like a week left of her like eggs. It's just a week or two of them potentially being fertile. When she runs out of the hunker sperm, yes, but you she see, stops laying eggs. No, she'll lay eggs without him. Uh-huh. Okay. So my wife thinks I need to clarify that Bonnie will lay more eggs. The most likely thing is that about five more eggs is all we'll get from her that are going to be fertilized. We'll still get probably several more weeks of eggs from her, but only the next about five days worth of eggs. And she may not even give us an egg every day. Hmm. Whatever we get over the course of the next, we'll say seven days, we will incubate and we'll see what we get from them. All right, so what I have here is a microfiber cloth and I'm just going to gently wipe away any residue. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to avoid removing the protective coating that these eggs are laid with that actually keep them good at room temperature for multiple days, sometimes weeks on end. And that's going to help just protect the egg while it's incubating. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this one. I'll drop them in the water as I get them clean. And what we're doing is we're testing for viability. If they float to the top, it means that they could be bad. 
but we'll give them a chance to see if they reabsorb any moisture, any water, anything like that. So we are still currently hatching the chicken eggs that I started for my brother and the batch that I started for myself. Now, surprisingly, our eggs are not, uh, they were not either viable or as fertile as I thought that they were. A little under 20% look like there's any sort of development inside. However, all my brother's eggs, every single one that I've been able to candle, some of them, the shells are too thick or too dark to see through, one or the other, not really sure. Uh, but all of my brother's eggs that I can tell, they all have development. So he's gonna get a lot of chicks. Our Bielefelder and uh, Big Red Broiler eggs that I'm incubating, not as much development there. And uh, we may have some crossing there, we may have some hybrids. So we may have some crosses there between the Bielefelders and the Big Red Broilers, which I'm going to call our Broilerfelders. Broilerfelders, instead of Bielefelders, Broilerfelders. I thought that was kind of clever. and if you watch carefully you can see the little dark shadow at the bottom that's the chick and it's moving right now you just watch the little palpitations in there that's the chick moving pretty exciting stuff